Hey, hey, everybody, long time no see. Because it's hotter than blue blazes outside, today's video involves an uncomplicated yet random series of diversions meant to distract us from any sort of adult participation in this thing called life. For today's journey, you'll need a plastic fork, at least one latex glove, and the unequivocal desire to forget all about that dentist appointment next week. So grab a seat next to your BFF and buckle up. Don't make me turn this car around. Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. Look at this pile of loveliness sitting before me. Isn't it glorious? A friend of mine was emptying out a family member's home. Um, I think one of the family members passed away. In which case, you know how it goes. Things get gone through and he set aside some things that he thought I might like. So I wanted to show them to you real quick. I thought this little book was cute. I like the color on it. I like that teal color. And it's from Eugene Field. He's one of my favorite illustrators. So I thought that was cool. And this one is probably my favorite, at least for the cover. And look at that shiny gilding is still visible. Isn't that beautiful? Might have to scan a few of these and uh, make some images for book covers. And this one's very cool, Women as Letter Writers. So I thought that was cute. Great size, right? This is a class book of some kind, some kind of a yearbook. The Athenian from 1916. If you have a drink, get one. Let's see, published by the student body of the Sherman High School in 1916. I don't know which Sherman High School. Somebody cut out some pictures, a few pictures. <laughs> Probably put those in another book. Oh, these are the seniors. Who wants to bet that uh, Hazel was the trendsetter? Anybody, anybody? No, just me? Really cool photos though. This one, the front cover's already fall fallen off. And the date on this one is 1815. Four Sister Andrews from Chester Bidwell. That's about all I can make out there. But that's a, that's an old one. This one, I don't think this one's as old. Yeah, 1861, but it's a cookbook. Mrs. Leslie's Complete Cookery. This one has, the binding is still fairly tight, even though the spine is coming off. The stitches are still intact. You can see the leather is literally just falling apart. This one, 1842, Peter Simple. I'm gonna assume it's a novel of some kind. And this is a spelling book. I couldn't find a date in this one, but it is pretty much falling apart. Sometimes the paper that was used was more acidic than other papers in other books. And that's why you'll see a huge discrepancy in deterioration from one book to another, just from the quality of paper that was used to print on. And then of course, you know, where it was kept and all that kind of thing. That one kind of lost its cover on the front. The Memoirs of Calvin, oh, John Calvin. And this one is 1827. You can see how rough these pages look as far as some are shorter than others, which is a little strange. It's almost like the papers didn't get trimmed after the text block was made. I don't know, or some of them didn't get trimmed. It's just kind of strange how some of them are short and then some of them are long. So anyway, that was the pile of books that I was given. I had another video planned for today, but it was sabotaged and not in a cool Beastie Boys kind of way, just a regular sabotaging. So I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna make a mess. I know, what else is new? I'm gonna need gloves. So because I can't move along with the other project, I shall do something different. Of course, I've probably already given a clue away in the title of this video. 
I mean, I'm still recording this video, but I'm sitting here thinking it's not just gonna be a blank thumbnail with a big question mark on it. <laughs> I usually don't do that to you. And I won't do that this time. This is some scraps of cotton fabric that I ripped into strips um, at some point in the past. And I thought maybe I would dye some just to see how it comes out. Does that sound like fun? I have this writ dye and it's teal. I thought I like teal. So I need to read the instructions. This has been pre-washed, so no worries. And it says to use half a bottle of dye with three gallons. Wow, we don't need that much. Hot water, a teaspoon of dish detergent, and it says you can add salt to the dye bath. Okay, so I can do that. Well, because I didn't read this ahead of time, I will go grab some hot water <laughs> and a drip of dish soap, and I guess maybe a teaspoon of salt for this little pan. I will be right back. Salt, water. And it's from the Keurig because I didn't want to wait for the kettle to boil. And that's why it looks a tinge yellow because there was a coffee mug in there or, you know, coffee pod thing. But that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. All right. So, oh, dish soap. I mean, does it really matter? Probably not. There, just a drizzle. Here's a little thing of salt. Yeah, that'll work. Now, this is about, I'm gonna say 12 ounces of water. Do I need that much? I'll pour some of it out. It doesn't say to shake it, but I'm thinking maybe I should. I think I will go ahead and, ow, hot, 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 get these wet, and then squeeze them out. Maybe I'll just do this little bit. Whew, what are all these little crusties? Let's see, does that be okay? <laughs> I hope so, because it's too late now, too late now. I'm gonna add a little green because that just looks blue to me. Ah, didn't mean to add that much. Oh well, you can see what happens with this. I'm trying not to overcomplicate this video, so y'all remind me, please tell me to hold back, settle my horses, don't take it so seriously. Maybe I'll add a little yellow. <laughs> she says, after she says she's not going to complicate it. Well, you can't stop me from being me, that's for sure. Now that's down white, right green. Is it gonna be one of those deals again where it's like you're cutting your bangs? You know, I use that analogy where you're cutting your bangs and you cut a little bit and you cut a little bit more and then a little bit more and Pretty soon you don't have any hair on your head. There we go, this little spray bottle. Why am I whispering? <laughs> Just a tiny little bit. Blue or teal, whatever this is. I hope the Rit Company never sees this video. They'll just drop dead right on the spot. Set that back there. I thought maybe I would do like a spray kind of, maybe, I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll see what happens. Flying by the seat of our drawers here. That's green. That's really green. Good job, Nick. That's what I get for thinking. First is too blue, and then it's too green. The Goldilocks of dying ribbon. Let's just dip some of these puppies and see what happens. Let's just dip them all. So how are you doing? Are you doing well? Is it hot where you live? 
It's been hot on and off here as well. And then today, this afternoon, we had this surprise downpour. Well, at least I was surprised. I didn't know it was coming. And now it's 68 degrees and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's weird. I mean, I'll take it, but it's, it's weird. Let me squeeze all this out. I look like I'm playing with melted slushies. I've been away for a couple of weeks because we've been having work done on the house and it's been really, really noisy. I just, I couldn't record anything. And I, I had no peace, you know? You know, you know what I mean. You know what this color reminds me of? Do you remember the Tupperware from the 70s? <laughs> remember the lettuce bowl? Oh, that's what this reminds me of. Not really what I was going for, but here we are. Here we are, folks. I would go put these out in the sun to dry, but there is no sun. So I will set those aside for a moment. The other thing I have is a mess of Hug Snug, which is like a, I think it's rayon. Is it rayon? Yes, it's rayon. Why did I put so much out? Grief. Slow your roll there, sister. How's that? Drop her to the rescue. Now, this is just water. I don't know if it's good to wet this down first or not. I really have no idea. I don't have much experience in dyeing things. I don't dye my hair. I don't dye fabric very often unless it's, you know, with botanicals or something. Oh, sure, now it's not very dark. It's so vexing. Maybe I'll do a mixture of blue and green and we'll just let the drips fall where they may. I will let these dry and I shall be back momentarily, well, momentarily for you, and we'll see uh, how horrifically these came out. Sound good? I think it's everything is dry. It's still a little damp, but that's okay. These aren't that great. I'll do something with them, I'm sure. I don't know what, but something. Not really the color I was going for. This looks a little better just because it has like little watermarks with dye that collected around the edges. So that's kind of cool. This not so much, but I do like this. This would be I think this would look good wrapped around, you know, a gift or something. All right, well, following my theme of not overcomplicating things today, I'm going to end it there before I mess it up because you know I will. All right, guys, I will um, be back sooner than I was this last time now that basically most of the work on the house has been finished. I should have some more peaceful moments and hopefully my sabotaged moment will get remedied so I can finish that one up soon. But if not, I'll just put something else in there in the meantime. I hope all of you are having an excellent day and please have a great weekend. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.